Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing Venus in the fifth house. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. People with Venus in the fifth house are very fortunate in that this combination favors success in human relationships through the cultivation of an affable personality. These people have an instinct for self-dramatization, which can be implemented by a distinctive sense of style, which is modified by a diplomatic appraisal of other people's tastes and reactions. Artistic abilities are pronounced in these people and are expressed in refined and agreeable ways, especially in activities involving children and young people. Venus in the fifth house people can make a delightful teacher who entertains as well as instructs and who has the capacity to inspire students to undertake creative principles on their own. Children are a source of pleasure and pride to people with Venus in the fifth house. People with Venus in the fifth house have a naturally romantic nature that inclines them to make concessions to those they love in order to stimulate warm, friendly relationships. Their benign dispositions make them appreciate the benefit they gain from their early family life. Perhaps their parents were inclined to be more generous to them than to other family members. Venus and the fifth house people tend to be somewhat guarded in expressing themselves because they want to avoid antagonizing anyone. They enjoy in favorable relations with their brothers and sisters and in their pursuits of harmony, they always give others the benefit of the doubt. These people's desire for the finer things in life makes them careless about financial resources. They often find it difficult to hold on to their money when they are tempted to splurge on buying things they want rather than those things that they really need. They need to be more controlled in this area of life. Because of their distaste for unpleasantness, they are overly com compromising. It's important for these people to develop their talent for artistic endeavors. In general, Venus and the fifth house people are fond of young people and children. These people can develop their artistic talent if they are honest with themselves and admit that they have creative ability. Working behind the scenes in some worthwhile activity might be an enhancing, enriching experience for them. Venus and the fifth house people are overly demonstrative in expressing their fondness for their close friends, and those people may take advantage of their kindness. It's important for these people to be at least as attentive to their future financial security as they are to their friends. These people need to be wary of misplaced affections that could prove costly in their career. It's important for them to not be afraid to make sacrifices to fulfill their destiny and to be realistic and don't mix business with pleasure. Venus and the fifth house people are very fond of living the good life and this desire encourages them to cultivate relationships with people who are reasonably well established in their field. The destiny of these people could be served by helping to fulfill the needs of the public. Public relations might be comfortable field for their genial natures. They have a talent for meeting people and making them feel at ease and this quality could be put to good use in this area. The idealism of these people might cause them to postpone marriage until they find a partner who they could enjoy in many ways, not just physically. They have a natural talent for meeting people and making them feel at ease. Because the Venus in the fifth house person is unwilling to see anyone's negative qualities, they are extremely vulnerable to disappointment in their love affairs. They need to question and question the motives of every important contact that they make. The warm and kindly disposition of the Venus and the fifth house person attracts others, and knowing that people will seek their friendship if they seem willing to compromise, they make every effort to be on their best behavior. These people know how to effectively win friends and influence people with charm and warmth. 
Being somewhat artistic, the Venus in the fifth house person should try to surround themselves with the finer things in life. They have an appreciation of good music, good food, and pleasurable activities, and they thoroughly enjoy them. Young people are drawn to them mainly because they are conciliatory and don't make impossible demands on them. Venus and the fifth house people prefer the company of others who share their refined interests, but they must be careful not to become too wishy-washy. They have the courage to stand firm when they are right about something, for it is fine to be all heart as long as they don't lack some backbone. Making love, not war, may be their motto, but they are vulnerable to those who will take advantage of their passivity to win their submission. Generally speaking, these people are on good speaking terms with all of their acquaintances. They genuinely like others and enjoy the interchange of ideas that friendships imply. Venus and the fifth house people find it hard to be angry with anyone for very long. Their interests in the people they deal with is genuine, and as a result, others understand this instinctively. Other people tend to be open with the Venus and the fifth house person about their private lives because they feel that they really care. These people are enthusiastic conversationalists and they bring some dramatic displays into any dialogue that they engage in. Venus and the fifth house people must focus their attention more on their future goals and learn to conserve some of their assets and resources for a rainy day. They tend to disregard common sense by indulging their desire for the many comforts that money can buy. Other people looking for a generous patron will find the Venus in the fifth house person an easy mark. They truly hate to ignore anyone's cry for help, even when they cannot afford it. They may win friends this way, but their financial situation could become embarrassing to say the least. Their primary concern should be to plan for their future's financial security and independence. Venus and the fifth house people tend to overreact to the expectations of those who have authority over them. They resent the sacrifices that their superiors expect them to make to stay in their good graces, but they realize that they must concede to rank, and so they do what is required, even though it is painful. These people underestimate their creative talent, which would enrich them if they were developed. It's important for them to take care not to mix business with pleasure, or else they might discover that they have sacrificed an opportunity to fulfill their destiny without binding ties. Venus and the fifth house people benefit from their parents' generosity in their early years, but it may have taken away their desire to live according to their own potentials. The worst thing they could do is to live off someone and justify it to themselves by claiming that the other person needs them. It is extremely important to develop their skills so that they can sustain themselves without being obligated to anyone, but it is important for them to not deceive themselves that those they love have no negative qualities. They should try to understand their failings and be willing to help resolve them. If they can do this, then they can have their parents' approval of anyone to whom they feel romantically attracted. Because their parents are not emotionally involved, it is unlikely that they will share the Venus and Fifth House person's view, but they might give them good advice because they are detached and therefore more objective. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I have decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.